Welcome to IGSS Online Training. I'm Mike Torrance, Seven Technologies, Denmark. I'm here to present our SCADA system, IGSS. Lesson 15, Alarm Management System. What is alarm management system? <clears throat> when do we use alarm management system? And I'll tell you about some of the unique features in the AMS software. What is AMS? Well, <clears throat> it's a universal alarm collection point or server for diverse SCADA systems. Alarm monitoring can be undertaken 24 hours a day with offsite alarm acknowledgement. Duty plans for offsite personnel can be set up to cover extremely long periods of time and are easily modified or changed. When do we use AMS? <clears throat> well, this solution is appropriate when you need a command center alarm solution. Alarms from different plants belonging to the same technical or business unit, and in fact from different SCADA systems, are collected at a single point. For better alloc allocation of watch duty personnel resources, the alarm management system is definitely the solution. What AMS does? Alarm collection occurs from three different sources. One source being an IGSS system, another source, a short message service SMS source, or even an OPC source. Alarms collected in AMS <coughs> can either be acknowledged at the AMS collection point or server, or forwarded to operator personnel cell phones for acknowledgement there. Here we have an overview of, it, of an AMS system <clears throat> which we could configure with various SCADA systems. In the center here we have the AMS server. This is the collection point for alarms from all of these various systems. Here we see an IGSS system communicating with the alarm server via a TCP IP connection. Here we have a couple of other third-party SCADA systems. They communicate with the AMS server via a, a GSM modem where they send their alarms in to the IP address at the AMS server. Here at the AMS server, alarm acknowledgement can occur out to the various SCADA uh, processes out here <clears throat> in cyberspace. Otherwise, the alarms can be forwarded to operator personnel on their cell phones. From here, they are then able to acknowledge the alarms back to the AMS server. These are some of the unique features in the AMS software. <clears throat> we can create unlimited number of duty watch calendars. We can create unlimited number of duty watch persons. We can create duty watch calendars with unlimited uh, recurrence through time. We can create alarm filters specific for individual duty watch personnel or specific servers. Alarm forwarding and acknowledgement via texting SMS protocol from cell phones. And lastly, we have the possibility of doing source specific monitoring of alarm traffic. We can use filters to uh, filter out the alarms we do not want to see in the AMS server. This is what the AMS duty calendar looks like. <clears throat> in just a moment, we'll go online and I'll show you how to set up a duty calendar. I would just like to bring your attention to the fact that the AMS software is an add-on that must be purchased separately when using the IGSS software. It is not a part of the standard IGSS package. Let's go online now. Okay, I've opened my AMS <coughs> application and the first thing I noticed is that I'm brought in exactly <coughs> on today's date. This is Thursday, the 13th of November. What I want to do now is I want to create a duty plan. The way I do that is I left click on the mouse and I select the time period for which the duty plan <clears throat> is to be used. 
I right click and I say create. I have a default name called new duty. However, I can change that default name by going up in the name field and writing in a new name. And here's the new name on my duty plan. The next thing I want to do quickly is to create some operators for this duty plan. So I go up to the operator creation icon up here at the top. I click and the uh, operator profile dialog box comes up. So I want to create an operator called Alan, which I do here. I want to put in his cell phone number here and I click add. I need another operator called Jim and I just click add and he comes into the list as well and maybe a third operator called Tom and I add him to the list as well. Then I see I have created three operators which I'm going to place on the duty plan. I close the dialog box. I go over to the duty plan. I right click in it and I choose add operator. I have three operator types, a primary, a backup and a reference. I choose Allen as the primary. Allen will be the operator that will receive the alarms first that emanate <coughs> uh, from the AMS server. If Alan does not answer, then we go over to the backup operator called Jim. He will receive the alarm if Alan does not acknowledge. And the third operator type is the referenced operator. This is usually a supervisor. He receives all the alarms that come from the AMS system. I have the possibility of repeating this duty plan over a period of time by going up here under recurrence and selecting this function <clears throat> and then it gives me uh, several choices of how often <clears throat> I want to repeat this duty plan. So I'm going to say we're going to repeat it every week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is chosen default because that's where I've created it and Friday. Then I can choose whether to end after a certain number of occurrences or an, a definite end date. So let's just put in an end after two occurrences. I click OK and there I have my duty plan. <clears throat> If we go forward, we can see that the duty plan does in fact end after two weeks time. Thank you very much for your attention. For more information, go to our website www.7tdk/igss.